Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob11 back here again on the SpongeBob channel on May 15th again. So just um, about three hours after I posted the previous video, THQ Nordic dropped another SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated trailer. So that trailer, trailer number seven, um, is what we're going to be analyzing in this video. And this one's going to be a real short one because um, it's just focusing on one single area and that would be Goo Lagoon as you can see here on the uh, trailer page. So I'm just going to scroll down here. It says, Ah, Goo Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here in paradise. Alright, so now without further ado, let's go straight into the screenshots. Okay, so first up we start off with... Um, the scene where it introduces the monsoon bot right so and that guy just standing around and the monsoon bot creates a cloud over him and uh, strikes him so yeah you know it's the typical robot introduction cutscene so nothing too special there uh, we also have a scene of spongebob jumping on the well not so bouncy sunbather <laughs> over to one of the offshore islands I um, mean, as you can see in the background there, that is the robot on top of the sunscreen lotion pile. If I'm not wrong, it's sunscreen lotion, something like that. Uh, so that is the goal of the level, uh, but we have to go and uh, via a Dwee tour, via the Sandcastle, and then the Gulagoon Caves and Gulagoon Carnival, and then finally returning to the island in the back there. Uh, we also have that little puzzle to, uh, well, save the kids who are hovering over the water outside uh, offshore and also the juice bar which doesn't seem like you can actually go in it anyway uh, just like the original game and you can see Mrs. Puff there as well um, here's another shot of the monsoon bot with the carnival um, in the background um, and now we're here in the jellyfish uh, not jellyfish caves the Goolagoon caves there are grass patches here too gross <laughs> okay so the grass in my opinion it's it's uh, a negative not a positive so just my opinion we also have the part where spongebob has to jump on those uh flimsy uh, well planks in the sandcastle and also some puzzles in the cave the cave looks really different uh, the surface of the cave is now more brown as opposed to just more sand looking in the original game and then finally we have spongebob at the bus stop so this is the first time we have a, or at least this is the first time i've seen uh, a good look of the bus stop it says bus right and of course uh, this is where the Gulagoon pier is located very beautiful in my opinion um looks great and uh, of course we have patrick uh wandering around the Gulagoon carnival and of course the ski ball game uh slide here and then of course the freeze challenge um, under the boardwalk which is uh, always a classic we also have the challenge for patrick to um, throw the throw fruit at some uh, well buttons that are being held up by balloons on the or in the original area the first zone and also this is the part where um, Patrick is being well catapulted over to that island with the robot on top of the sunscreen and yeah so basically that is the trailer it looks pretty good in, in overall and uh, the only downside of this trailer is again the grass but aside from that goo lagoon looks great better than the original game and i really look forward to playing it so comment box below what do you think of this new trailer and if you haven't watched it uh, it's only a minute so i'll leave a link to it in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow with a mail day video so do stay tuned for that subscribe if you haven't like favorite comments etc keep right here on automate spongebob 101 and yeah so see you guys next video. Bye!